Here we go again. Reds. Jose Mourinho considering sensational Man United return with unfinished business. Claims self-proclaimed, special one. Jose Mourinho is currently out of work following his Roma sacking, but is now thought to be plotting a return to Manchester United. Jose Mourinho is thought to be aiming for a shock return to Manchester United, despite being sacked by the club back in 2018. The former Red Devils boss was also dismissed from his most recent job at the helm of Serie A Titans as Roma earlier on this month. Now on the prowl for his next role, those closest to Mourinho claim he feels he has unfinished business at Old Trafford, as per Mel Sport. The 61-year-old has reportedly made it his mission to take charge of United once again before he calls his time on what has been an illustrious career. Mourinho has kept a keen eye on recent proceedings and is impressed by the new football operations, spearheaded by Ineos chief Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brailsford. Mourinho spent just over two years at Old Trafford, having been appointed in the summer of 2016 only to be given the boot in December of 2018. Within that period, he guided the club to a Europa League title and Carabao Cup triumph. During his reign, relations between Mourinho and those above him in the hierarchy are thought to have become strained. The Portuguese coach was often left frustrated by missing out on key transfer targets and having to opt for alternatives he didn't really want. If the extraordinary does occur and current United boss Eric Ten Hag is ousted from his post in place of Mourinho, the special one could be in for some awkward reunions. Late last year, he told John Obi Mikel's podcast that some players he didn't deem motivated enough during his tenure are still at the club. Mourinho claimed, there are still people in that club. When I say people I mean some players but also some other people that are not players, that are still there when I told United after two months, with these people you are never going to do it. And they are still there. He famously never saw eye to eye with the likes of Luke Shaw or Anthony Marshall, both of whom remain at the club. Though it must be said that the latter is expected to depart following the end of his contract this summer. An underwhelming season so far for United has heaped pressure on Ten Hag, with the Red Devils currently languishing all the way down in eighth. The club are out of Europe and the League Cup, meaning their final hopes of silverware rest on the FA Cup. Manchester United want to reinforce the defence this month and reports indicate they're preparing to close the signing of Jared Branthwaite before the transfer deadline ends on Thursday. According to Corriere dello Sport, the Everton star is a wanted boy in the market and the Toffees are looking to agree a new contract with him. The renowned Italian media outlet have mentioned that Chelsea and Real Madrid are interested in signing the 21-year-old centre-back. On the other hand, Man United are working to close the signing before the closure of the winter transfer window. The Rome-based news source claimed the deal would be worth 40 million euros, inclusive of cash and add-ons. Branthwaite has proved to be a solid defender in the Premier League for Everton, who rate him very highly, and therefore, the above-mentioned fee is way too low. According to an exclusive story covered by iNews last month, the Merseysiders have slapped a mammoth price tag of £100 million on the prized asset to ward off suitors like Man United and Tottenham. In the current campaign, the former PSV Eindhoven centre-half has made 18 appearances in the Premier League thus far and helped the team keep six clean sheets. Branthwaite is expected to start tonight in the league contest against Fulham at Craven Cottage. At Old Trafford, the likes of Varane, Maguire, Evans and Lindelof are well past their primes and Ten Hag needs a quality centre-back who can serve the club in the long run. In your view, should Man United submit an offer to sign £100 million rated Branthwaite from Goodison Park this month? Manchester United winger Alejandro Garnacho is wanted by Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid amid claims his advisers have a plan for his future. Bringing through young players has been the hallmark of Manchester United over the years. From the class of 92 to the success of Marcus Rashford, even the emergence of players like Tom Cleverley and Danny Welbeck as first-team regulars under Sir Alex Ferguson, United have generally been a fine home for youngsters. United have to make sure that young players coming through the ranks now believe that Old Trafford is the best place for their development. There will always be admiring glances from other clubs. Just look at Manchester City showing an interest in signing Kobe Mainu. Mainu has to stay at United and the same goes for winger Alejandro Garnacho amid rumoured interest in his services. Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid eyeing Alejandro Garnacho reporter Steve Bates has now told Give Me Sport that Garnacho is attracting interest from two of Europe's big hitters. It stated that Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid are both interested in Garnacho as they continue to look for top young talent. 
United are protected here as Garnacho is contract until 2028 and certainly won't be leaving on the cheap. United will be in a position to demand big money for Garnacho, but Bates notes that Garnacho and his advisors have a plan for his future. That future allegedly doesn't involve being out of top European competitions, so United may need to convince Garnacho to snub interest from elsewhere. Garnacho hails from Madrid but spent time with Getafe and Atletico Madrid before joining United back in 2020. Interest from Real maybe isn't a huge surprise and United will be wary of losing a top talent like Garnacho should Los Blancos come calling. Garnacho better off staying at United we can understand that Garnacho and his representatives are ambitious and want to reach the very top of the game. The 19-year-old certainly has the talent and potential to reach incredible heights and teams like Real will always be interested in players like that. Garnacho still has plenty of work to do though and his best chance of fulfilling his dreams is to stay at United. If Garnacho joins Real anytime soon, he will likely play as second fiddle to the likes of Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo, potentially stalling like many young players who have joined Real over the years. Garnacho has a better shot at first team action at a crucial stage in his development with United and he should be excited to be a part of an exciting new era under Ineos. If Garnacho becomes a global star like Cristiano Ronaldo and wants to move to Real down the line then few United fans would be up in arms. That is a lofty level to reach though and Garnacho should forget about this interest and focus on becoming a vital United player in the coming years, with United no doubt looking to extend his deal if big European clubs come calling. PSG will reportedly compete with Barcelona for 26-year-old Manchester United forward Marcus Rashford next year. According to a report by Spanish outlet Fichages, Marcus Rashford faces an uncertain future at Manchester United. The 26-year-old is attracting interest from high-profile clubs across Europe. Paris Saint-Germain and Barcelona will be in a three-way battle to secure his services. Marcus Rashford and a topsy-turvy ride at Manchester United Marcus Rashford has endured a rollercoaster ride since breaking into the first-team squad at Manchester United. The English international was one of the best young prospects in his homeland when he made his debut in the 2015-16 season. But he has struggled to deliver the good season after season for the Red Devils. The 26-year-old was a talismanic attacker for Manchester United last season, guiding them to the EFL Cup triumph and the top four finish in the Premier League. But Rashford's performance levels have plummeted this season. He has a paltry record of two goals and four assists in 21 appearances thus far, with both strikes coming from the penalty spot. Meanwhile, his market value has fallen to 70 million euros. Rashford's falling performance levels have attracted spiteful criticism from different quarters. But he has also received words of encouragement, with Jamie Carragher empathizing with him while telling him to step up. Meanwhile, the Englishman's Manchester United future has become uncertain, 